Hello everybody and uh, thank you for coming. Today uh, we want to speak about my baptism. Why I waited 22 years for my baptism. So a lot of person asked me so I decided to do that. Okay. Why 22 years? This is uh, very important things for me and also for you because you ask me and also a lot of active Jewish witnesses they know me say me Ludovic please make this video because this video is very important for our family members and uh, family and 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 so uh, I was a Jewish witness that Jewish witness called a anointed okay I myself consider myself in the same situation and I want just to say to you that my whole life I considered myself as in John in the first letter of John chapter 2 verse 27 and let me read that as for you the anointing you receive from him remains in you and you do not need anyone to teach you but as his anointing teaches you about all things and as that anointing is real and not counterfeit, just as it has taught you remain in him so this scripture I applied every time to myself and every time my whole life I was convinced because this internal teaching what he said here I was convinced I believed and I was convinced and not just that I believed and I was convinced but it was so powerful that also persons who knows me that external this was externalized so powerfully that also people show that also friends family members was uh, how you say that they was uh, they believed that and was convinced about that so nobody doubted about them I don't doubt it about them and a lot of person they know me very well also those persons don't doubt it about themselves so and here come this story because even if I don't doubt it other person don't doubt it about themselves about myself the problem was when I begin to study the Bible with Jewish witnesses they say me that this anointing is no possible for new members for new persons because such anointing or the such anointed persons can be only those who was 50 years without problem they was faithful 50 years was faithful and he was permanent pioneer and missionary and 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 served Jehovah his whole life okay and um, because I heard that even if my heart and my spirit doesn't agree to that you say no 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 do you don't agree to that my intelligence say okay maybe this is can be true because if this is God organization must to say the truth okay so it is true maybe yeah and I want it to be a person that obey God's organization and uh, instead to do such things that God maybe doesn't accept I obeyed so <clears throat> I was convinced about 1 John 2 27 that lives in me and uh, internal I was convinced but external I say okay maybe I'm very strong to put myself in this ecstasy I speak myself in an excess and uh, so I stop 
I don't want to baptize because maybe I put too much pressure on me. Yeah, and this was my story because I waited a long time. I waited and waited and waited. And what happens that God never stopped to call me. Okay? God every time called me and called me and called me. And uh, also, uh, Jehovah's Witness was aware about that calling because I had a brother, Jackie Skudlowski. He was my witness of my calling. He was eyewitness. He see what happens. Okay, so it was a very powerful calling. And uh, he was impressed about what happens. He never see that, but he now he can say, "I see a real calling." Okay. After when this happened, I still say, you know, maybe maybe I'm wrong. I'm I don't want to make something against God. And um, after 22 years, so when after 20 years, I decided again again I don't know three times I, I begin to study the Bible and after 20 years I begin again to study the Bible and uh, in 2012 I promise to God I say watch my loving father if this is true so please help me let me to know that if this is true what you say to me because your calling is is not more I I can't retain that more and um, please help me to to understand that help me to understand what happens because the organization say this is not possible but this internal teaching this anointing teach me that convince me I believe in that and I'm convinced that is contrary how this organization teach so please show me if I am wrong so then I stop forever or I am not wrong okay and um, how the Jews made that how Jesus made that how Moses do that I begin before my baptism I begin a fasting I begin a fasting for 40 day fasting okay after the 40 day fasting it was all clear for me yeah after this 40 day fasting I had a tremendous insight okay uh, my congregation was shocked a little bit because I lose 26 kilo and uh, really my congregation was was my French congregation yeah, at that time he was very shocked to, to say to see that how a person resist 40 day fasting but I wanted clarification because uh, I don't speak about fasting now that uh, how powerful I am the fasting uh, is in God's hand. God shows that that is possible. Okay, so God give this power to do that. After the this uh, fasting, I was happy that I was still alive. And um, okay, I made the questions for the baptism, and I was baptized as Jehovah's Witnesses. And now, this was in 2012, after it was still not clear about the anointing, okay? No, it was clear for me in the baptism time and whatever, but when the memorial came, I made another fasting the next year, of course. This was one year later. The next year, 
I do again for today fasting in the respect of the of the memorial because I respect it. I had a lot of respect for this memorial. But I decided in 2013 because I say this was in hours now I'm here in, in, in Mars they made eight months I still will wait next year okay so I will wait next year I decided so because it was too short the time and even this time was when I was three months I, I, I had this, uh, this problem with the elders so I stopped to go to the congregation. So I can't. I came just to the to the memorial, yeah. And I begin uh, begin the 40 days uh, fasting, and uh, it was the memorial 2013. So this was the second fasting, 40 day fasting. And this the Jehovah's Witness don't want to hear that because say no, it's no possible for a human being to fasting 40 days. Now in 2013 I was by my second fasting, okay? 2014 before the memorial I was in very deep prayer and I pray God and my father I say please tell me what happens now is the crucial moment arrived so if I take falsely this memorial, these emblems, so please put me to that because now I can support more this this calling and this for me it's a contradiction in me. So please do that. So after again 40 days, so in 2014 I have the third 40 day fasting. I was very powerful, yeah, I was inside I speak, yeah, not inside and also body, I had very powerful body and uh, spiritually I was very strong, contrary to what people say, oh maybe he was weak or whatever, no, I was very powerful. So I convocate the elders, two elders, the same day they convocate me, so I, I convocate back. And I explain them. I explain my whole story. I explain my whole story. I explain my point of view. I explain how the Holy Spirit act in the Christians. Okay. I explain that how this Holy Spirit act. And uh, this is no doubt. Even if the wash I will say that uh, you must be faithful and uh, whatever, and uh, the governing body say you. I don't know if you. You don't do 50 years missionary and uh, distribution uh, and pioneer, so you are not anointed. I say the spirit confirm something completely different. And I say that nobody can stop me because this is the moment that I must clarify. Okay? This was very nice because also the brother who to, to, who, who made the, the talk, I feel that uh, he speak about me because he say, uh, yeah, because I say to the elder that I don't want that people speak around. I don't uh, I I don't care about even uh, if they speak around. I don't care about. So I take the emblems and basa. And he say, don't care about the uh, person and... Uh, no, this was very nice. I was very, very happy. And uh, what I want to say, that when I take the emblems, when I take the Lord evening meal, I was very peaceful with myself. For me, change the world, because after in fact, it's 10, 24 years because I begin with 22 years, but I, my suffering, I suffered 24 years. And these 24 years take end in 2014 because I was so peaceful. It was so big peace on me 
and a happiness and pff, it's unimaginable I can even not talk about to, to, to say how, how big this peace was in me it was very big because people see that in me people see that and tell me a lot of I had a lot of confirmations people talk about it and was very it was very nice to see that and um, it was very nice to see that and um, after of course <clears throat> 2014 this was my third my third uh, fasting of course I continued yeah in 2015 I made another 40 day fasting before the memorial and uh, of course uh, at that time between the 2014 and um, after the memorial we had a lot of members of uh, the congregation especially sister a sister uh, we had a very good uh, conversation and um, she wanted uh, that I speak of <laughs> wanted to speak about myself yeah <laughs> I laughing because in the first video I speak about I don't want to speak more about myself so the elders wanted uh, every time yeah and um, he wanted to know about uh, the anointing the uh, anointing and I explained that that uh, I don't care about what the what the governing body write in this watch our this is uh, really nothing nothing spiritual nothing have nothing with the with the spirit yeah and uh, ask me the anointing process and uh, all things and I explained that I I realized that I know that from my very early childhood I know that that I was so and uh, <laughs> Uh, after he was, she was very surprised to hear that because she also she was a pioneer and she heard that that uh, the, so she heard that she read that that the governing body members say that only if you long long time you are uh, faithful and whatever and. Um, Okay, the time passed uh, very quick, and uh, in 2016, in one morning, in 2016, one morning, she called me, and I take the phone, and I heard a sister, and uh, she said me, Ludo, Ludo, Ludo. I say, what happens? Say me, go quick on the GV org. Uh, website and watch the I think uh, this was the 2016 January January edition of the watch hour uh, the study edition I think that and um, I say what happens oh it is a new changing it is a new changing and uh, you remember what you say me one year or two years I don't know because I think uh, it was after the memorial of 14 but this is very short because also between 2015 memorial so it, it's a couple of months I don't remember really but she said me you remember what you say to me one year or one and a half year before and now the governing body put what you say they put in the wash hour I go quick on GVOR and I watch. For me was not a good. For me was not really a good news, okay? Because I realized 
that in fact okay this confirmed for me was also a good news in the, in the sense that this inward teaching it doesn't say error okay this is not based on error how first Thessalonians 2 verse 3 say that exhortation or teaching comes not from error how the governing body teach the governing body teaching is only error nothing is true not one word is true and uh, for me it was a very shocking news for me it was a very 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 shocking news because immediately I see Jeremiah 17 verse 5 I realized that I was a cursed man in when Jeremiah 17 verse 5 say curse is the one who trusts in man so all this time all these 22 years I was a cursed man because I trust in men because I trust in this governing body who say that is God's people this is not God's people this is only satanic this Hova's spirit organization the spirit of ruin and disaster for me was the proof the clear proof that the spirit calls me the spirit lives in me and they put really they convinced me I was convinced and I believe that and 20 in 2016 26 years later they put this in the in the in the watchtower study uh, edition and say that oh yes because also uh, uh, Cornelius was uh, a soldier and uh, received the Holy Spirit so yeah this is possible yeah this is possible that today uh, also Christians they are maybe they are anointed and uh, are not baptized so and I say to the sister you know from my childhood I don't was baptized and I was anointed and uh, also they uh, explain that and for me for me it was uh, really a bad news because I see that that I, I trust in this organization I put my trust in, in men and uh, you know so long time so long time I trust in men and uh, this was a very bad very bad thing what I, I can do yeah I wanted just to, to say that that I I really I really lost so many years of my life because I trust in this man and I trusted in this man because I, I wanted to I believed yeah that uh, this man say the say the right thing and but they never will talk about that yeah this is not a changing doctrine for them but I can say that this is a tremendous changing yeah because even I'm sure that other persons that uh, they feel that this maybe others others do the same and I wanted to obey man and uh, this was a recognition for me that this is not God's organization and of course in the same in the same magazine, in the same this false religions uh, doctrine, uh, I read that that uh, in this wash hour they called also some some of their own brothers. They say, okay, these uh, persons are are are, are emperors, those who take the, 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 the those who take the emblems, okay, and say they are emperors and uh, for me it was very very hurting they hurt me too much this uh, this uh, this wash hour because imagine that the brothers and sisters in his own organization they called imposters never 
in, in, in the scriptures was never such things happens in the first century. Never ever such things happens only with people who Jesus speak about those who have no value for, for, for God's word and tell them as spiritually dogs and pox or, or Paul speak about garbage but never inside in the congregation uh, we realize that that somebody say that the brothers and sisters are imposters can you imagine that this is shame is that this is a shame is that that active members in the organization and the brothers and sisters are called so but the fear is, is clear because the governing body fear the anointed that are too much anointed so every time they put that before to why to uh, to uh, how how we say that to uh, destroy their images okay to humiliate them because you imagine after such a study when you do such a study in your congregation when you read that your brother in your congregation maybe is an imposter you know that okay in my congregation i i never feel that i never have this feeling what my anointing uh, 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 is in, in, in my congregation I never feel that I was every time respected I feel uh, I feel a big respect in my congregation and uh, I respect it for me this was a big respect and uh, for that I want just to say that uh, in this this part of uh, the story for me was a was a respectful respectful I was respectfully treated yeah even if I was convocated four time every year huh? every year I was convocated to not be a ministerial servant or another but other members the sisters and those who was not elder was practically <laughs> was the <laughs> was the best Jehovah's Witnesses because they was really really fantastic so okay uh, I come to the end yeah I hope I, uh, I answered your all questions yeah and this late hour is midnight I hope that you appreciate that so I made that for you yeah because you ask me for for 10 months you begin to to write me that so I now I'm here to, to talk to you about this uh, this video and uh, of course uh, I would that uh, made in French because you asked me also in French so I do that immediately yes just I want to say to you that I was happy to be here I was I'm happy that you watch this all and uh, you are so so many to write me this is tremendous so thank you for watching now you can uh, if I do not write it yet so today I made that so off from my head but if you have question you write me and uh, of course I answer you if if I can answer that okay thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye